So as you can see by this background here, I've been practicing Blender for a very long time now. A couple of days even. I sculpted this whole thing, every single Lego brick. I sculpted them all by hand. I didn't even copy and paste when I had one down. I just like individually made them. Just to remember the dimensions and whatnot. But I want to go into a little more depth, have something that's a little more me, something with characters that I like. So I whipped this up in MS Paint real quick. This is what I ended up coming up with. Something kind of to this extent. Just a bunch of characters, maybe doing a couple poses. So I asked all the Patreon people what characters to put. I'm going to start with Kotkaji. Kotkaji. He's called Kotkato. Kotkato. All the Kotkato fans are cringing. All the Kotkato fans know me. Okay? I'm their friend. And we'll do the same pose too where he's got the guns and everything. Listen, I'll, I'll stay this in the Sonic fan. I'll stay the leader of the Sonic fans for a very long time. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not leaving that or anything. But I think it's cooler. I think it's more unique. I think it makes you a little bit more of a, of a hipster. If you're a fan of Kakatka, I'm gonna be honest. He's a little bit less well-known. And to be honest, I think he's just got a way better design. I think he's a lot cooler in a lot of ways. Hit a little something like that, right? Remesh that and it looks like, it looks brand new. It doesn't even look used like most things I make. That's a that's an easy Kakatka hand tutorial there. Looks a little bit like a crab leg though, which is making me hungry for, for legs in general. Give me something, something with legs, please. Hit that, smack that with a remesh. Oh yeah, why is, oh, this was his front, that's right. Okay, well, he's just doing, he's not really doing one of these, he's doing more of a, ah! We're gonna use the ear tool, give him these ears that kind of come out and go like that. Anyway, we'll give him these eyes. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, cut gun. Give this man his weapon. And he has like a fleshy tummy color. Oh my. Give him that little bit of a tummy. Kind of like that. Toenails and some knee things. Pretty much my whole channel is just, hey, here's what skill I'm learning today that would take most people many, many years to learn. And for me, isn't taking very long at all sort of a thing. So, you know, today it's modeling. Yesterday it was open heart surgery. I didn't upload that one yet. It's, it's going to be in editing for a while. And there's always like experts from the field that I'm doing. They come in here and they're like, as an expert in this field, I love this, but it really hurts me. And it's not an original comment at this point. This is how he'll look in the final scene. All right, we've been doing this for about an hour and we got the first out of like the, out of 28. We're gonna pick and choose some of these because I don't know what Pepperino from Pizza Tower is. And, or, and haagen ice cream, eh, that'll take like five minutes. Take this, grab one of these. Uh, do you like one of those? I feel like those YouTube shorts, you know those YouTube shorts? You know the ones, the short ones? They're just fast. They're just quick with it, you know? Subdivide it again. Make this a high quality haagen -Dazs. Go back to layout. Still looks cringe. Why does it still look cringe? Yep, this one right here. Save it. Hey, from this angle it actually almost looks decent. Base color, use image. Image, 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 texture. Hit it with this, Hog and Doss. Go to here, render version, Hog and Doss. Go to layout, go to final view. Put this over here, spin it around so that it doesn't look like the bad side. Do one of these, look at that. How long did that take? 10 minutes. Invader Zim, it's got three likes. It's a lot of people who want Invader Zim. All right, now check this out. Modeling, hit with one of these, extrude vertices. Yep, just like that. Bevel vertices. I don't know what that meant, actually. New edges and faces from vertices. Look at that. Not good. New edges and faces from... Ugh. Something like that. Take them all. Make them the same shape, because I don't know how to deal with stuff if it isn't. And my brain gets a little kerfuffled. Yeah, subdivide it like a million times. I don't care. My computer will pay the price. Sculpting. Remesh that. Point of one. Remesh it. Yep, it's breaking. And I'll watch some YouTube while I wait. Now we get impatient, we kill it. We mesh it with the .01. Whip that up. I did the same thing. I did the exact same thing. What is happening? What happened? What with this image went... What? Something went very wrong with this model. Why is it SGV? Why you do me like this? Why well, you gotta be... <laughs> uh, 
awesome. Add this guy to the lineup. We'll put him a little farther back though, because I don't really like the coloring, to be honest. Not perfect for me personally. Let's see what's next on the agenda. Wally from the Papa Games. That's gonna be simple enough to where I can actually do it. Simple vertices. Looks like he was made in Blender, but if Blender was two dimensional. So anything but Blender. Let's stick with spheres, because I spheres what happens when I don't. We're just gonna do all the basic stuff. We're not gonna get so crazy fancy. We're not gonna start using frickin' Dine Topo or whatever, because whoever told me to use that, you're a loser. Ban mods, ban him from the chat. Add some bloom, maybe some, some frame rendering. A little bit of cell shading. Hit it with a subdivide. Hit it with a remesh. What in the frick is the shoes? He has three fingers. Simpling it down to two because culling, render distance, things like that. I think a lot of the methods I'm doing... Listen, I grew up on digital art. I'm used to clicking and dragging and getting an, an immediate result on that sort of thing. I think I speak for all, all digital artists and people who grew up doing digital art specifically when I say that. We don't want to mess with shapes. Circles and squares. Nobody cares. We want to click and drag and draw. I don't want to have to remesh and subdivide and do all that stuff all the time. It's weird. Look at this. Look at this drawing tool. Oh, well, you want me to you want me to make a loop de loop with a with a freaking like trapezoid or something? Just draw the shoelace. There. It's that easy. Remesh it and it looks great. That didn't do anything actually. So Blender's a lot easier than you think it is. The only reason that people think it's hard because everyone's got to go out on their high horse and be like, You cook your beans outside the burrito! You didn't put those blokes in the microwave, eh? But you can use this tool however you want. Go to the bubble, go to the divide, and, the, and do this. Shoddy got those apple bottom jeans and shoes with the flat bottoms. I'm gonna add a Taurus. Some of you might know this from the Ford. Moving on the face. There, do something like that. Go back to modeling. Whoa, go back to sculpting. That made me look like I knew what I was doing for a second. He's got some... Bleh. It's not my fault my brush is like an oval for some reason. Hit it with some smoothening. Make it nice. Pretty much undo all the details you just did. Sock him with one of these. Move it up, right? Go back to sculpting. Now he's got the right neck size, the right length and everything. We can stick with something like that for the most part. I think he needs his chin. I think he needs his chin rubbed. And the obvious next step is just color the shoe. Why do I even have that open? I'm looking at a blank screen. I'm like, mm, yes, sophisticated dual screen view. I don't even have anything on the other screen. Yes, you do. Hello, hello, yes. He just told me. He knows a lot about Papa, Papa Mia. He knows Papa's Pizzeria. He knows Papa's donutaria. Considering he's a dog, he's, he'd probably eat Papa's diarrhea. It's gonna look hyper-realistic, and I want to do, like, if they were making a movie about the Papa series, it's like Joker started this, right? Instead of calling the movie The Joker, we'll just call it Joker. Or I don't even call it Harley Quinn. We gotta make it, like, deep and serious. Call it Quinn. That one's not real, but that's something I could see them doing. So this one, instead of being called Wally, it'd just be called, like, Wall. It's just all simplification. Logos are getting simpler, names are getting simpler. Let me change my channel to Pete. And I'll have like an intro, right? But the intro will just be like very quiet piano playing my theme song, but just like really slowly and like so, so that if you're someone who knows the theme song, you'll be like, oh, that's the theme song, but like remix to be really slow. Like they did that with the Mario movie. I love that. I, that's my, I think that's my least favorite trend. Like they make a new Star Wars movie and they're like, all right, here's what we do. We play the classic, like... John Williams theme, right? But we play it on the piano with this, like, slow building, like... Like, violin note in the background, and just the piano going, like... Like, really slowly, so it, like, tries to tug on your heartstrings. There's no way I'm gonna make anyone care about what I'm saying, but this is something I'm very passionate about. I'm so sick of They did it for the Mario movie. They're like, oh yeah, uh, the opening shot, slow fade up on the Mushroom Kingdom. And I called this, I told all my friends, like, when a trailer for the Mario movie drops, they're gonna do this exact thing. They're gonna play the original Mario theme, but like real slow with piano, and there's a there's a violin note in the background. It's gonna be like, it's just gonna hold on that last note. And I called it, they did that exact same thing. You know, every YouTuber would make the obvious joke when they predict something like that, like, oh, Illumination Studio, hire me, Nintendo, hire me. I don't wanna get hired. The fact that I knew that means I need to not work there. Fire everybody who has those ideas. I'm so sick of those ideas. Here he is. 
Not too bad. We're gonna view him from the front. My hand is getting tired of scribbling. Oh, in full rendered glory. I got the squad going here. All right, we're hitting up one more today. We'll come back and work on this another time, but it's been, it's been two and a half hours. I'm just sick of this background. Like I need to change it within the next like hour or so. So we're just gonna do one more. Tails would be cool. Tails would be absolutely sick. We can do a sick Tails. <coughs> like he's coughing, he's dying. Why do I need an image of Tails? I know what Tails looks like. What am I, three? Three-year-olds don't know what Tails looks like. Go ask a three-year-old. Find a three-year-old. Ask him if you have like a sibling. Ask him or her. What's Tails look like? They're not gonna tell you. They're gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> This is like a little cute little teddy bear so far. It's great. This one's gonna look great. I promise. I am making a promise right now. See what a decent job I'm doing with this one? You tell, you tell me to do a Sonic character and I'll just turn up. I think just because of my personality in general, I don't know whether this is a character flaw or maybe just a, a, a misunderstanding that I'll have to get used to. I think I give off the impression a lot that half the time I don't really care about what I'm doing or I'm not that enthusiastic, even about making videos in general. And the reason I say that is I was at a funeral the other day and, and someone came up to me. And they're like, hey, look, it's freaking Bored McGee over there. You better start yelling and screaming a lot more in your videos. I'm gonna tell my son that you're a poopy head, and that scared me. Now, if there's one thing that I don't like, it's being called a poopy head. I don't like having to say it in videos. I know there's a lot of, of, of families sitting down after dinner to watch my stuff, and they gotta hear me address these serious topics and poopy head and stuff like that. And I don't, you know, I don't wanna have to be that guy. I'll say it. Oh, uh, what's the word for someone who brags a lot, like humbly, and pretends like it's not a real brag? Oh, a YouTuber? I don't wanna come across as a YouTuber either and just be like, guys, you see. It might not seem like it, but I care so much about the craft. Like, I put in so much effort. I learned Blender just because I think you guys are pretty cool. As far as I'm concerned, there's two different struggles when it comes to, to being a YouTuber. Most people only worry about one. The first one is finding a balance of this is your job, you need to upload, you need to do things that people are going to click on. Also, you want to do things that you enjoy doing, so finding a balance between that, what people are going to click on and what you actually want to do. Luckily, most of the time, you can think of an idea that's both. Every content creator is going to have that struggle, whether they know it or not. But then the other struggle, how much do I let people know that I'm trying and that I care without coming across as a pandering wuss? I think that one I definitely struggle with more than the other. I don't know if I've ever done anything on this platform that I was like, eh, I don't really want to do this, but I better. It's important. So far, I've always got to do things that interest me. I have 15 minutes left on this, uh, on this camera SD card, so we're just gonna speed, we're just gonna speed run this. Give me that. Then you go here and you do it again, because it gives you a different color wheel per, you know the thing. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys are smart. Woohoo! Really is one of the wilder things. I've ever done on this channel. Color in something really fast. We go on some wacky adventures around here, let me tell you, but man, coloring tails at an extremely fast pace. Not one I thought I'd be doing today. Woo! Woo wee! I'm an artist in the zo in in the zone. I'm an artist in the fartest. He's here with everyone. What happened to him? <laughs> so great. I'm gonna recolor while I'm gonna recolor Zim. And a note, if you just started watching the video, this is where you should skip to to see what the final product will look like. If you're the kind of person who just wants to skip through, completely ignore all parameters of watch time and what would give my channel uh, good audience retention. And there goes my face cam. Great. I didn't even finish my little outro segment. Well, I better redo the whole video at this point.